I think people would describe my work as very inviting, very comfortable. It reflects their personality with my expertise and the team's expertise. I am known for being able to really get scale, get proportion, understand color. We layer on a lot of different textures, silks, wools, bouquets. It's very cohesive, so when you walk into a room, you literally take the whole room in, and then you start kind of breaking it down and noticing the different elements of it. I'm Kendall Wilkinson, and I'm the founder of Kendall Wilkinson Design in San Francisco. We are currently in downtown San Francisco in a modern high-rise. The home we're in is a 3,200 square foot apartment. Remodeled the kitchen, remodeled all the bathrooms, brought a lot of light into the house, and have curated a number of different pieces of art and sculpture and carpeting, and it's all really very cohesive. In designing this home, we also need to take in the functionality of the lifestyle that the client was living. We opened up the kitchen. It opens up into the dining room and then into the living room and the entry. So there's a lot of open spaces. So really great traffic flow, really wonderful for entertaining a number of people. The living room is this really wonderful space that is so inviting. We've got this custom made half circle sectional we designed with this gorgeous alpaca fabric from Sandra Jordan and we love the emerald green. We feels like it grounds the sofa in a room that does feel like you're in a glass box. Its focal point is this gorgeous etagere that we designed that the TV is centered on. There's a lot of fabulous sports watching here, entertaining. So when we're working with a home that's very contemporary and has a ton of windows, and you're dealing with different light factors, glare, um, even privacy issues, and how does it fade the art, which is very important in this home, or the carpet, or the fabrics. We actually do a layering of window treatment, but one of the things is when a home is very contemporary, you don't want to layer on too much window treatment because it feels too traditional with draperies and too much fabric. So here we did a shading system that is plugged into all of the technology. And so by the push of a button, a shade goes down for filtered light, then there's another shade that goes down for you know, blackout. When we treat the windows, we put a UV film on them, so it blocks out a lot of the sunlight that damages the furniture or bleaches the floors. In the dining room, we have the beautiful David Wiseman fixture that is the focal point and shed some beautiful light on the table from coup d'etat showroom in san francisco the carpet is from taiping and there's this kind of mimicking of this circular pattern within the carpet a little bit on the table and then within the light fixture so there's a lot of like really wonderful lines that are circulating through, kind of softening of those right angle lines. And the ceiling is dropped a little bit with this wonderful light that is reflective. It has this very moody feeling at night when you're eating here. The kitchen was designed by Stuart Hills of Apparatus Architecture and he and I collaborated on the finishes. We went to Da Vinci Marble in the South Bay here in San Francisco Bay Area, and we found this beautiful Calicutta stone and these gorgeous glass tiles. The owner has a chef who is an amazing cook who also helped us with the functionality of the kitchen and how it would best work for him. We use marble all the time in kitchens. There's a special sealer we can use on it. Um, there are also various ways to watch that patina within the marble. So if it does have olive oil or red wine or some things that kind of get in there, it's actually part of the process. It's a natural stone. So Stuart Hills of Apparatus Architecture designed this incredible bar. And one thing that makes it very special is this is a quartzite stone. 
and we backlit it to give you that glitter and that sparkle. And he designed this glass rack. So from every view that you can see it, it actually looks like it's a standalone sculpture and it just has this really inviting feeling to it. And it's a very small space, but he designed it to make it look very expansive. The breakfast nook, I think, is this wonderful, cozy space. Indoor, outdoor leather on the chairs so that they're incredibly wipeable if anybody was to spill. We decided that we needed this to be a very functional space that you could really clean up not worry about things falling on the floor or scratching the table. And then the light fixture is this beautiful brass ginkgo and it just has this really cozy niche area as well for sitting and reading or just hanging out. We're in the powder room, which is this gorgeous jewel box of a bathroom. And I love to design powder rooms with people coming in with having this wow factor. And it's the one room in a house that people go who don't live here who can really take it in and look at everything. So Willem Marquet, who's a decorative painter I work with, painted all throughout this powder room. And we even painted the back of the door because we wanted it to be this encompassing when you're here of being in this jungle of a garden. Um, my client's son loves monkeys, and so we have all these really special monkeys throughout. And the mirror and the sconce was designed by David Wiseman. It has this very big jungle feeling. And again, these colors are all playing off the colors throughout the rest of the house. So the guest room is uh, this beautiful room that I say is like homage to the heritage of the people who live here. So there's a lot of wonderful Asian artifacts, African art and artifacts, and we designed this bookcase that has a bed that comes out from it, so it gives it this cozy niche. The bathroom off the guest bedroom has this gorgeous green onyx stone in it from Da Vinci Marble. Wonderful tiles on the backsplash from Ann Sachs. And then again, it's that sparkle that we talk about with the mirror and the fixtures. And the whole thing just feels like a jewel box that you're in. This is an incredible infinity light fixture that we designed. Jocelyn Marsh is the artist. Gorgeous butterflies that she painted and highlighted with gold. And it just has this really incredible reflective infinity mirror feeling which makes it feel like it's coming out at you or that it's going and retreating back. So the primary bedroom is this wonderful zen-like oasis. Behind me and all throughout the room is this gorgeous Degorny wallpaper that the client and I designed. My client is very into fashion and loves Valentino and we based it off of poppies in a Valentino gown that she owns and it has this beautiful cascading flower effect and then this incredible light fixture with it so it would illuminate and sparkle and it has this very shimmery gray silk wallpaper that it's painted on and gives us that glow at night. It's just spectacular to go to sleep in here. So in the primary bathroom, we also have this gorgeous onyx and we did this book match on the walls that this beautiful soaking tub sits underneath. There's no natural lighting in that bathroom, so one of the challenges and what we wanted to do was give it some natural light feeling. So with the uh, onyx, it feels like water, and then the reflection off of the uh, mirrors, which were custom designed, which have this kind of really pretty light that illuminates out. It just has a very spa-like feeling as well. I would describe the end result of this project as one of the best pieces of work we've ever done. She loves being in the spaces, her family loves being in the spaces, and it is everything both functionally and aesthetically that she wanted it to be. I just love being here. This is one of the best projects we've ever worked on, if not the best.